Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce. This is Rohit and today I would like to discuss about Salesforce Inspector Reloaded new feature that is related to our version 2.0. So if you want to learn these all new features, so please watch this video until end. Don't skip any part of this video, otherwise you will not get to know about the new feature. Right? So let's get started without any further delay. So here you have to update your you know Salesforce Inspector Reloaded. So right now maybe you are using like 1.27 or maybe uh, above version. So here you can see all the features one by one here. So first feature is analyze field uses. So we will see here. Let me open my O and this is my Salesforce Inspector, right? So right now I'm using like version 2.0. You can see in the bottom here, right? And also the API name as well like 65. So how to configure it? So first of all, once you open like a object right in the object or shortcut you can see here shortcut object everything but you have to click on the object and uh, now you have to search like account so once you clicked on the account you can see so all data so once you clicked on the so all data immediately you can see the option like uses percentage and now you can just calculate everything like let's say i want to calculate like uh, active field uses so just click on it and after that you can see 77 percentage right you can calculate each and everything let's say let me click on it now immediately you can see all the field percentage here right and also you can ascending or descending based on your need like this so these all fields recently or you we can say that like 100 percent used in our own like this or this is 92 percent everything you can see here okay zero percent is nothing to use anywhere okay so this is how you can leverage this feature like uh, analyze field uses so this is the first feature now let's see the next feature is like agent force integration to generate a sql query in data export right so this feature only available on the data cloud plus your developer uh, you know account developer edition so in simple developer edition you cannot find out this feature you have to or you must have this you know data cloud org because i already created free developer account so that's why i have this options so you can create it as you want okay so how to enable it very simple just click on this uh, you know icon click on the setting icon and after that you can see the data export right after that you have to enable this option like agent force you can see right so previously it was like this now you can see it's enabled so once you enabled it now you have to do one thing just click on this icon and data export after the data export now you can see small icon that is Einstein related or agent force related so this is a simple query editor as you know very well but once you clicked on this icon immediately you can see the another text box or we can say text area under this text area you can write your NLP natural language processing and based on the NLP it's automatic created SOQL in your in or in your in your you know this area that is related to the uh, square editor here this area right but before that you have to do one thing so you have to configure it otherwise it will not work how to do that let me show you here so once you go here in the uh, setup just click on the setup click on the setup here and once you clicked on the setup right and here you have to search like prompt prompt builder so just click on this prompt builder i have created one prompt okay this one like generate sql and this is a flex type right and now this is my prompt you can see these all prompts and i have one input like description so based on the description description is automatic created my sql inside the sql editor so you have to activate this prompt template and name must be like generate soql okay and once you've done it now you have to go to the you know data export things and now here you can write your query so i have already have lots of query so in my query history uh, let me tell you the one thing so let's say here in natural language processing let me find out here write soql to find out number of opportunity like number of opportunity something like that 
So just click on the generate SQL. After some time, you will be see here like select count from opportunity and run it. Now immediately you can see the result, like how many opportunity we have. We have 31 records here. You can see this is the 31. Also, you can write any kind of things regarding this one. Let's say uh, write a SQL to so all account object records account object records okay so generate it immediately you will be see your query here after some time now you can see select id name from account i click on it now immediately you can see my 13 records in my org it's up to you like how many records as you have in your org it's automatic generated this sopl also you can make it the complex you know query so based on the query and based on the you know uh, that things like NLP things it's automatic created this kind of you know uh, SQL so this is very helpful for us or also you can check like uh, active user like how to write SQL to check user is activate or not something like that it can be anything you can write it and let's see here so after some time you now you can see select ID is active from user id equal to this id so you can provide the id here and you can check it or just remove this you you know uh, this where condition and run it immediately you can see uh, these all you know uh, users are active you can see the flag like is active is true 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 okay you can add anything as you want uh, you can make this you know nlp things like as a complex query or something like that you can do that okay or you can write the query like on account with associate associate contacts something like that just run it and let's see now you can see immediately it's given me like parent to child query right so this is the parent and this is the child of this account like contact is the child right just let me run this one and let's see how many records as we have like you can see the 13 and all the data available here right these all things so this is how you can build uh, this uh, you know sql query based on the agent for sql query builder right so let's see the next feature is field creator and this is very most important whenever you need some field creator on the fly so you can use this you know feature so how to do that so in the extension we have like a field creator option so just click on it and here you have to select your object first so in my case i'm using like account and field name let's say sf inspector okay sf inspector and this is the text also you can give the options like how many lands description help tags required if you want to make it this field as required so you can check it like this unique id external id something like that for now i'm not using anything or also you can give the permission to the profile as well as permission set so in my case i'm using like system admin and save this and after that you have to click on this deploy fields okay right now if you see this one let me copy this one and in the salesforce home you cannot find out this field let me click on the setup and in the object manager just search the account and like uh, fields it's a fields and relationship and here you have to search like this sf inspector and also like sf so you cannot find out this field right why because this field is not exist right now so once you go here and click on the deploy after some time it automatic deploy into the org immediately you can see the tick mark is green also you can click on this field one and definitely it will automatic redirect to the our object field one object uh, related fields and here now you have to search it like sf inspector now immediately you can see sf inspector is successfully deployed and now you can see each and every definition regarding this field also you can check the field level security everything and view field accessibility everything you can check it like it's applied or not if not applied you can just cross check this one like uh, sf inspector after that you can see these all hidden right 
also you can check uh, cross check using the permission set or something like that so this is how you can create the field one right now let's see the next feature is like flow scanner and this is very helpful for us whenever you need to check your flow is following the best practice in the sales floor so you can use this option in your you know org so let's see how we can use it so now in the you know flow one in flow builder let me open my flow and i have already one flow so let me open it in the flow so just search here like flow click on the flows and after that uh, i have this one uh, like a winter one so let me check this one okay so let me check that flow or we can check the last modify by or something like that so here let me check uh, just a second like winter we don't have any winter one uh, let me check it all right so let me open the another org and let's see in the future okay so now here i can open my org right so i can open my new org and that is login okay so you know no need worry about to open new org so i can use my existing one so i can use it here like this let me open it because i want to show that kind of feature so it's very helpful for us whenever we have this kind of features in our org so let me open the flow click on the setup and here in the setup just search like a flow i already open it somewhere so let's see it's available or not like a flows click on the flows you can create new one as well but i already created that's why i want to show the bad or good practice so this is my flow like winter 25 let me open it and here once you open it like this is a flow builder screen as you know very well right so here you can see all the things so just click on this icon and here you can see the option like a flow scanner just click on it and after that you can see my you know problem in in this flow so this is all best practices you have to follow it like this is the warning you have to fix it like we have eight error one warning so let me check the one war warning so you can see the warning like get all fields so this is the one you have to keep in your mind and you can fix it let's say i want to fix this uh, winter uh, like a uh, api version like this is the old one so right now we have like total nine eight error one warning right so how to fix it so just go to the one by one you can fix it also here i can change my api version let's say anything as i have like a 60 just click on done and again you have to click on this one flow scanner now this time you will be see like a nine error or let me save this flow first because i didn't save it yet so let me save this and once you save this now you have to click on this icon and flow scanner after that you can see previously it was like nine right now you can see the eight and previously it was eight you can see the seven and also flow api version also removed from here you can scan everything in the flow and one by one you can fix it okay so this is how you can use this new feature so let's see the next feature is like update api version so how to use that very simple in the flow here you can see the you know options like version 2.0 slash 65 you can change the api version using this you know drop down so you can decrease it like this or you can increase it like this so right now i'm using the latest api version that is 65 and once you click on the top after that you can see maximum version available like 65 okay so this is how you can update your api version in your org let's see the next feature is like add custom link to the shortcut tag this is also a good feature in the cell phone inspector and you have to follow it just come to this area and now anywhere in your flow let's say here in the flow right you can see the shortcut right 
also you can go here in the setting and now you can see the custom right this is all custom so i already open somewhere let me check like this one and here in the setting in the custom one now you can see you can create a new one let's say uh, you have to provide the label link and which type of things this is the custom and then after that you have to save this so right now i've just created two custom shortcuts first of first is like salesforce related docs and second is uh, like uh, all flows list view so you can see this one so how to use that very simple just click on this icon click on the shortcut and now you have to search it let's say salesforce dev now you can see salesforce dev docs click on it immediately you can see it's open the salesforce developer guides like developer.salesforce.com and then slash docs right same for uh, the you know uh, that uh, related to our uh, another custom shortcuts and this custom shortcut we have to search like all flows now immediately you can see all flows comes once you clicked on it now it's automatically redirect that all flows list view and it's open it right so this is how you can create or you can use these all new feature in your org it's up to you and it's based on your requirement okay and it's a new feature in this version 20, uh, 20 uh, like version 2.0 okay so this is the version 2.0 salesforce inspector reloaded so you have to follow it if you are working on this kind of you know productivity or you can increase your productivity using this extension okay so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is the very more informative for us so please like share comment subscribe the channel also turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching